All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the RC World, the RC World, uh, I'm going to sit with the uh, number one uh, <laughs> champ in the world, uh, how many times he became a champ, and then uh, I have a few, uh, like, uh, personal question to this guy, and uh, it's, it's all about the future, so uh, I told him that at right, right now at your age, uh, I'm 22 uh, now. you're 22 right now, and yeah. uh, of course, uh, maybe uh, 30 years from now, you will be on your 50s, right? So I told uh, Mr. Uh, Ripkins here that the young age generation will be the, repla the replacement of your, you know what I'm saying, of your uh, kind of, uh, what do you call that, they called it a job or what? Yeah, I mean, essentially, I guess you could say, I mean, this is my full-time full -time career, um, so I guess you could call it a job. The way that I look at it is, you know, I've been able to put myself in a, in a good situation with my sponsors. I've been able to learn a lot of different things with behind the scenes, the, the actual business itself. I've had a lot of great mentors, um, like Jason Runa with J Concept, Brent Melky with Team Associated. Um, and, you know, when I got into the hobby, I really didn't know, I didn't really thought of it as I can make this as a, as a career. It was just, I wanted to do it for my happy place. Or just my, a hobby. My, my parents got a divorce when I was younger, so coming to the track was uh, an escape for me. I was able to enjoy racing. I'm a very competitive person in everything I do, and this is something that I actually took on pretty seriously, and then I ended up starting to travel a lot with my dad. Um, so when I see the younger generation come in on board, I feel that currently I, I feel maybe it's not quite the same mindset that I had when I was younger, they feel like, you know, they can really do this for a full career. Um, and currently right now where I'm in, I would say I'm I'm probably, I'm in my prime, but I still feel like I have a lot to grow as, a, as an individual, as a racer, as a professional, and as a um, uh, advocator in the hobby. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm always trying to expand my, my horizon. I, I'm, I'm very involved with a lot of product development for a lot of my companies. And I feel that I've been taking a lot of connections that I've that I've been able to make in the RC world, and I feel that I'm be pretty. I'll be pretty all right when um, my time my time is to come. But I don't feel that anywhere in the near future um, it's going to happen. I feel like the RC community is getting pretty strong and healthy. I feel that we travel to a lot of these races. We do see a lot of new faces. There's no age limit for this. There is no age limit. Yeah, I mean. I think in my position, I, I, my, my job is to be a performer. I'm supposed to perform at the top always. So, of course, you know, if, if it stops, I, if I can't perform, then obviously it could change a little bit. But, I mean, Adam Drake, he's one of the most known racers in right. the RC community. He it also gets paid to be a professional driver, but I think in all reality, I think he's um, a big... Uh, a big name in this industry where people can go for help for things in the nitro world. I think he uh, has a great image and I think sponsors support him financially and, um, and with product to um, promote the brand. So he's still under uh, R&D, the research and development of... Uh... Yeah, he does a little bit of research and development um, at uh, Mugen and he also um, does a lot of... Um, you know, racing for J Concepts and a lot of other sponsors. So are you going to see yourself like him I someday? Think that, that, that is definitely a, um, a fit that can happen down the road. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's in his mid, mid or early 40s, um, I think. And, um, you know, I've been, I'm, I'm very smart. I've been very fortunate to be um, you know, young and not... I don't really you know, blow my money on, on, like, boats and stuff that... Um, that a lot of people do. I, I kind of, I'm, I would say I'm conservative. I don't like spending money. So the money that I do make in RC, nice. I do save. Um, I'm currently looking to buy a home. I love so that. Being an RC racer, purchasing my first home, um, is pretty exciting. So um, well, yeah, congratulations it's for that. It's definitely a lifestyle. I mean, I'm on, I'm on the road a lot, probably 25 weekends out of the year. And what makes it really exciting for me is just the people that I'm able to meet with and the community I'm able to surround myself uh, with. Um, it's changed me as a person. It's made me a better person, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. All righty. Well, that really explained well for your future, sir. All right, Chief. Uh, this is your car? Yep. 
Okay, this is uh, Mr. Ripkin's car, and uh, just one quick question, boss. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about the video. But anyway, so boss, uh, for the 2021 uh, Surf City, why you uh, select the, uh, why you choose the tire? What what is the tire again? This is the J Concepts Ellipse in Silver Compound. Oh, Ellipse and, Silver Compound. Um, as you can see, that I have physically sanded them fully slick. I do that because the, the surface changes, it gets a little bit drier, it gets more grooved in. And the more surface area the tire has, the more traction and corner speed you'll have. Um, that's typically something that we've been doing for the last couple of years now. Um, soon to come, J Concept is releasing a new tire, it's called the Smoothie Twos, hmm. where you don't have to sand them, they're already made slick. So you literally purchase the, the tires, you glue them up, and you go run. Oh. No more tire sanding, as you can see on the ground right here. We got right. a lot of tire dust. Yeah. So it's a lot of wasteful product, but at the moment, that's kind of what we've been dealing with. So um, these work well. I think our new tire, the Smoothie Twos, um, we we already had won a national title with them um, earlier uh, week a, a week ago in Maryland. So. Um, this weekend we're running our production ellipse, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks or months we'll have um, everyone on the Smoothie Twos um, having a good time. Alrighty sir, so this is Mr. Ribkins again, yep. and thank you for the tips yep, for the time. Alrighty, thank you sir.